First off, I want to thank you both for coming. Yeah, yeah, what'd he do? Uh, he didn't do anything. Gosh, Tom, I want to believe you. Okay, the problem is the curriculum here is not challenging enough for Sheldon. Now, he gets bored and maybe doesn't express himself in the most productive way. And so the square of sine plus cosine equals one. Sheldon. I don't want to embarrass you, so I'm going to give you a moment to think about what you just said. Ms. McElroy? What? I'm wondering if you read the book you assigned to us, because I did. 20 laps. Cooper? If you're going to ask us to run, don't you think you should lead by example? It's gonna be weird around here without Sheldon. Don't you mean less weird? That's not nice. I wasn't trying for nice. You sure you're not jealous because your little brother's moving up in the world? Hey, I got plans of my own. Do tell. As soon as I graduate high school, I'm gonna be a professional male model. That is hilarious. What? I'm good looking. No, that you think you'll graduate high school. The model thing was funny too. Mimo? Wow. I know, I look great. I got you a little going away gift. Come on in. This necklace has been in our family for generations. It belonged to a Comanche warrior who gave it to your great, 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 great grandma. Why'd he give it to her? Well, according to family lore, she was, uh, a very accommodating young lady, and uh, they hit it off. That's a bird feather. Eagle feather. Doesn't matter. I don't like birds. Birds are filthy. OK. Fine. One featherless family heirloom for you to take with you and keep you safe while you're away. You don't actually believe this has magic powers, do you? Oh, for God's sake, just say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. There's a price tag on it. No, there's not. 